What time do you call this? I hear you screaming at me. Five o'clock and you're just starting the vlog? I've had a very, very busy day. This morning I've been piecing together the makings of a website, harrisonsbrewery.com. We're not there yet, but we're starting to build it very slowly. But unfortunately, something's got in the way. What the frig are these? We've only frigging got two pallets of keg and cask. Don't that in. Oh, they're beautiful. They are bloody beautiful. What do we think to this, folks? So let's zoom in and have a bit of a close-up. So you might recognise the old IVB colours, which we've kept. Damn right we have. And the uh, ribbed shive hole, ribbed keystone hole. Check this out. Oh yeah, baby. Oh yes. Ain't nobody making keggles out of these. And also on the top, we have a nice little lasered on address, stamp, code, phone number. Don't be ringing me, I'll not answer. Look at this. They are bloody beautiful, don't you think, folks? So I'm gonna spend a little bit of time unpacking these. That's not it, though. Look, kegs. Not only do we have cast, but we have keg. The little beauties. Just check it out. So we've got cask and keg next to each other. Again, we've got codes, laser etched in there. Oh yeah, and you can still feel the fire. And then, obviously, the Harrison's Brewery stamped into the outside. I am super, oh, on the pressurized. I am super stoked. I'll tell you one thing I do need though. I need a, a filling and cleaning head sorted out for these Sankey kegs. Oh, rolled handles, no more pain. It's very good, it's very good news indeed. So you can see why I've been distracted. I knew these were coming today, so I thought I'll get my jobs done before they arrive, which I managed to do. But that's not it. Oh no. Look what's in my pocket. Look what's in my pocket. What is this, you say? It's keys for the new pub. So, Greg, I know you'll be watching, mate. No, we're not moving the brewery. That's too much of a task. I'll tell you for why. We're just moving the pub. The pub's a lot bigger. You've seen the beer garden, right? And let's take you on what is soon to become the delivery run for the brew shed from Harrison's Brewery. Come with me. Come on then, Chance. Lead the way, bud. Come on, bud. Oh dear, well there's our first incident, let's go in boys, oh my gosh, so this here might not look anything uh, straight off the bat, but this is one of three stock rooms that the new pub has, outside there you saw the condenser unit for the cellar cooler which unfortunately does not work but that wasn't part of the lease. We took our chance with that. So we're gonna to have to buy a brand new one by the looks of it. So this is stock room one. Through this little door, which we can use to lock people in here. Yeah, see, is stock room number two. A little peaky hole there, so you can have a look through, look. So stock room number two is where we're gonna probably house all of the uh, ingredients and stock for the kitchen, I guess. And then finally, in here, this 
is underneath the bar directly. That's what's above us. This is the cellar, as you can tell by the now defunct chiller unit on said wall. But we've got down here already the makings of a distribution board. This over the years has probably just seen the likes of Kingfisher Ale and boring things like that. There's also a, a secret cupboard. We don't know what's in here. Not a lot. But uh, anyway, don't know what we're going to use that for. Oh, another cubby hole. There we go. So we'll be able to see through there as well at some point. I'm not going to rip it off now anyway. So yeah, a bit of a view in the cellar. So it'll give you a bit of a panoramic. Here's Chancy Pants. So you can see there the door's out through to the... Uh, let's kick that one open. So that's stockroom one. This is an unchilled stockroom. This will be a chilled stockroom. And then finally this will be the cold room. So take a look. Take it in. Bit of storage space on the side there for boxes of bottles. I've already been into the electrics as you can see because obviously with the multimeter I've been trying to get this working. She's a no-go. Never mind. Might be able to use this section for glycol in the cold room. I don't know. This was the old control box for it. It's shafted, gas meter. Anyway, this is the undressed cellar. It gets better. So let's go through this little side door. Mm. Go on, boy. What's this you might ask? Well, up the stairs we go. Up onto another level through this door. Well, hello folks. Hello everybody. Look what we've got here. This is the kitchen. You shouldn't be in any chance. What we've got installed in here really at the moment is a big old sink. Could really do with this down in the brewery. But there is obviously room for cookers, ovens, big old extraction unit up here. I'll take that in. So we're going to operate the kitchen at some point in the future. And then, which door shall we go through? Not that one. Let's go through this one. Wow, well, would you just take in the view, folks? Back of the bar, as is now. And then we've got this beautiful view. Look at that. So this essentially is the new pub. And it's literally on the bridge right next door to the brew shed. The brew shed's just there. There's a lot of mail here for the old tenants. We should really uh, see if we can forward some of this on. But we're not interested in that, are we? Come with me, I'll take you for a tour around the side. So we've got all this space. Look how big it is. We're definitely not short of space. We've got all this space around here. Swap arms are getting heavy. So if I stick you in the corner, nobody puts the baby in the corner. I don't trust this, but we'll take the risk. So you can see how big it is. This is the stairs for the toilet. And this is me. Stood all the way over here. There's a lot of space. A lot, a lot, a lot of space. And it is a little bit echoey because obviously we've got no furniture or anything in here. I'll just give you a good sweeping shot of what we've got up here. Plenty of space. Let's have a peek out the window. So through that archway there is where we deliver the beer. 
that's to our brewery, it's just through the archway there, literally just through that archway. This is the beer garden, and boy what a beer garden it is, it's beautiful. And there folks, is the Chesterfield Canal, now isn't that just a peach? See if I can give you a bit of a better shot. Oh my gosh. Maybe not from over here. We can go out the fire exit though. Oh, she's beautiful out here, folks. This isn't ours. Needs a bit of a tidy up, but that's not our section. We can go downstairs. Go on, boy. Down here, we're onto the patio. This, like I say, is where the beer garden is. And the canal, it's, it's bloody beautiful over here, honestly. It's bloody beautiful. I really can't wait. Really can't wait to get this dressed. Oh, it's so scenic, boys and girls. It's so freaking scenic. I love it. Let's go back upstairs into the echoey area. And uh, yes, there's more. Can you believe that there is more? So, pull the fire escape. And then next, we're gonna go down the stairs to another room and the toilets. But before I go, I'll turn the lights on for the toilets. So this is the other door for the kitchen. And once we're in the kitchen, we can turn the lights on for the toilets, I think that's that. I'll do that one as well. That's probably outside lights, isn't it? I'll turn it on. Right, let's go downstairs to the other room and the toilets. Down the only piece of carpet in the building on the staircase. Oh yes. And we're down here in yet another room. This one's quite spacious. This houses what I would call the piece de resistance of pub decor. I'll check this out. It's a beautiful, beautiful old fireplace. Look at that. Chances of having a sniff. There's no food in there. But wow. Don't you just freaking love it, boys? So it's difficult to tell the size of the place because everything's white. It's all being washed out. But not very high ceilings. But the room is pretty big down here. This is about, this is as big as the brew shed. Just this one room. And then we'll go into the toilets. And then we'll come into the ladies' cubicles. Mirror required. Extractor. Kids looking at, look at that wobble away. And also, yeah, three neatly lined ladies' toilets. Very nice. Now I need dressing. See the, does the hand dryer work? Oh, we're away. We are away. And then, into the men's. We come around the corner, again, similar sinks, requiring mirrors on the wall. And then there's a breath of fresh air, folks. Fricking your aisles. We've got a bit of water on the floor, though. I'm not sure where this has come from. That's something that we'll need addressing. I can hear it. Haha. <laughs> We found the culprit. We have a drip. Look at that. Right, that's not a problem. Harry can fix that. Toilet in there, good enough. Without a doubt, it's good enough for the girls I go out with. Extractor on the wall up there. Just what the doctor ordered. Oh, this is amazing, isn't it? What a freaking space. I am chuffed to bits. But what a space, folks. It's fantastic. 
So we just need to get this whole thing dressed and full of beer and fantastic people. And it's just another chapter for Harrison Brewery and the brew shed. Friggin' right it is. So as we descend back down the echo stairs, back into the brewery to unpack those kegs and casks, I'll just point out that I'm gonna try and take everybody along with this journey. But there may be one or two occasions where the workload's a little bit too much for me to fetch the camera out. So doing a Casey Neistat star vlog might not be suitable for it. And in that case, and if that's the case, then I guess what we'll do is just uh, just do some type of catch up at the end of the day, a little bit like today. But yeah, exciting times ahead. So there'll be another update tomorrow when we really start to delve into what is gonna be a brand new chapter. We'll see you then. Mm -hmm.